This is filter the more comfortable version in which the edge detection algorithm has to be implemented. So first of all, we need to download this folder or zip file using this URL and then you need to unzip it and then you need to seed it into filter. On the seed into filter, you get a file like this in which you need to implement these four functions. First of all, grayscale, reflect and blur are the same as they were in the less comfortable version of filter. So I have implemented those and these are the implementations of grayscale in which what we are doing here is we are taking in an image and then we're looking at every single pixel and we are calculating the average red blue and green value so we are taking in the average we're averaging out the red green and blue values and then we are changing the images red green and blue value to be the average value okay now after that this is grayscale and after that we're going to do this version of reflect this implementation of reflect in which what we do here we simply take in the image and then we swap the i -th and the i the image at i and j with the image at i and width of i, width minus one minus j so we are sort of flipping the zeroth value the zeroth column with the width minus one column and then the first column with width minus two column and so on and so forth so what we see is this is the pattern to flip or reflect the image now after doing this let me just copy this part reflect is going to be over here so that's reflect for us it's exactly the same height width and rgb triple image height width after this we are going to also copy the swap function which helps us to perform the reflection after doing this we have the blur function in blur function what we do is we are figuring out the pixel blurred pixel and to find that blurred pixel we're using our own function get blurred pixel in the get blurred pixel function we figure out the red value the green value and the blue value and average them out okay we take nine pixels and we average them out and then we return that blurred pixel so i'm going to copy this guy if you want more details on these functions please look at the less comfortable version of this problem set where i've explained all of these things so i'm going to look at if i'm going to take these three functions i'm just going to copy it over here now this is the interesting part the edge detection algorithm that we need to implement over here so we want to implement the edge detection algorithm next so to do that what we need to do first of all we need uh, to include those two header files math.h and cs50.h to get the bool data type okay so now what we do is we need to implement the edge detection algorithm so to do that first of all what we need to do is we're going to use the same similar kind of logic that we've used in our blur function so in our blur function we created this new image and then we iterated over the new image and we got the blurred pixel value in this case what we're going to do is we are going to we are going to get a particular edged pixel value okay instead of a blurred pixel value so i'm going to copy this guy and i'm going to paste it over here and instead of get blurred pixel i'm going to get the edged pixel what this does is i'm going to create a function over here called rgb triple get underscore edged pixel and then I'm going to you know fill this up with height width image and inj as well int i and inj so I'm looking at the image at ij which is the pixel value okay so I have I have the pixel at a particular pixel I need to apply the Sobel operator okay so what I need to do is as this particular pixel in this function get edged pixel what we need to do is we given a pixel okay given a pixel which is image ij we are going to change that pixel to an edged pixel and to do that instead of averaging it out like we did it in the blur function we averaged every single red green and blue value instead what we're going to do here is we are going to we're going to 
accumulate these values red green and blue values but we also going to multiply them by this so bell operator okay so but every single pixel needs to be multiplied by this so it depends on the position okay so let me just to be clear i i'm going to iterate exactly like i did before i'm going to iterate over this pixels left one, one one pixel above and one pixel below and one pixel to the left and one pixel to the right so i'm going to say int di equals minus one this is the movement di less than or equal to one di plus plus okay after this i'm going to say for int dj equals minus one dj less than or equal to minus one uh, sorry one dj plus plus now for this what i'm going to see is if current pixel is valid okay if the current pixel is valid i plus di and i plus dj this is the new pixel the pixel that i'm looking at or the current pixel that i'm looking at okay di so i comma j is the given pixel and i am moving around all nine blocks so i'm looking at the current pixel i plus di and i plus dj all right so after i figured out if it's a valid pixel or not and just to be clear valid pixel is simply this function where i just check if it is within the boundary of the image okay so after doing that it's if the current pixel is a valid pixel then i figure out you know, i have to multiply you know every pixel before adding it i need to multiply it by this weight okay how do i figure out the weight I need to define this matrix over here or this array gx okay so i'm going to say gx33 equals minus one zero one this entire thing minus one zero one comma minus two zero two comma minus one zero one close this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the weight the x weight is going to be what it's going to be gx di plus i dj plus one sorry di plus one and dj plus one the reason being is when i is minus one and j is minus one this is zero comma zero to shift those things I need to add one to get the index corresponding to this gx okay the di plus di is going to be the corresponding image pixel row value and i plus dj is going to be the corresponding images column value and di plus one and dj plus one is going to be the corresponding indices for dx and to get gy instead of defining this again i can just simply say gx dj plus one i'm going to I'm just interchange the rows and columns over here right because every single thing is same over here the only thing that is different is that the columns and rows are interchanged if you can see if this zeros this column this row and row a column over here is column row over here okay so the int weight of y is going to be this okay figure out our weights and you know in, I'm gonna accumulate all the red values all the green values and all the green values let's say green value X and then I'm gonna accumulate so how do we accumulate this I'm gonna say just weight of X times image and multiply the pixel with the weight okay J plus DJ and then I'm going to look at the red value. Okay. Similarly, I'm going to look at the green value, and then my pixel. I'm going to look at the weight. It's going to be the same. I'm going to look at the green value, and then I'm going to look at the blue value, RGB value x is going to be blue value okay. same thing is going to be repeated and the only thing that's different over here 
is value so what we can do here we can also define a function and you can actually any anytime there is a lot of copy paste there is an opportunity for a functions but i'm going to keep this video short and change that in your own code y y y you see there's a lot of repetitions over here and then this is over so now go here and we are to return the new pixel okay rgb triple let's call this pixel and this new pixel must you know you must put these values accumulated red blue and green values in i'm going to put all these rgb values in rgbt red equals these values but how do we accumulate this value inside new pixel we gotta square it we have to square this I'm gonna add this and we're gonna take the square root of the entire thing according to the formula that has been given to us square root this you square, square root we need the math.h library which I've already included and then I'm going to round this off because I need an integer and I also need to cap this so the cap function is simply going to be if I'm given a value I have to return that value if the value that has been given to me is less than 255 I'm going to return that value otherwise I'm going to return 255 right so if it's less than 255 I'm going to return that value otherwise I'm going to return 255 okay value is greater than or equal to I'm going to return 255, which is the maximum, which is the maximum amount can be returned stored inside a red, green, or blue value. RGBT red, green, and blue is going to be the same thing. You can also create a function over here. To instead of copy pasting this multiple times value x blue value y blue value y green value blue value over here blue value over here and then okay, this is green so rgb let me just call this blue and then for the green part I'm just gonna say this again the green part Thing green, green value, green value, green value y, and green value y, green value x, green value y, green value x squared, green value y squared, square root, round it off, cap it off, and then give it to blue, give it to green for blue, and use the same thing square them y and the x values square root that and we're gonna round that we're gonna cap it off and set the blue value of the pixel to equal that value next up we can return the pixel so this should be giving us the edged pixel given the pixel at image ij at image ij we figure out the edged pixel and we return the new pixel and we store it in our new image now what we need to do is we simply need to mutate our or change our original image so i'm going to do it for int j equals zero j less than width j plus plus and then image of ij is going to equal new image ij Okay. Now let's make this. See whether we've done this correctly or not. Make filter. Oh, so we need a bunch of 
columns over here blue value y all these values have not been initialized so i'm going to initialize all of them And then I'm going to set them to zero. Equals, equals. All right. I can see we've been able to make filter. Let's check all the filters using. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna skip all that and I'm gonna check 50 on this. Meanwhile, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review what we've done here. So what we've done here is we have calculated the edged pixel for every single pixel in my image and then I have updated the image that has been given to me by the new image okay have I, how have I how have I figured out edge pixel I've simply accumulated the red value green value and blue values and here we have it all of them are correct the only bug we had was instead of J plus DJ we had mistakenly written this as I plus DJ that's pretty much it. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.